Welcome to MacroCode, and today we are going to learn about uh, Kestrel uh, web services, web server in SP.NET Core. So, uh, in this video, we are going to learn more about uh, Kestrel web server in SP.NET Core application. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and watching our previous video on how to create SP.NET Core web application. So, at the end of this video, we are going to learn how we can launch our application using the Kestrel uh, web server. So what is a Kestrel uh, web server? So in our previous video, we created the SP.NET Core application and the SP.NET Core is a cross-platform uh, framework. So it means it supports uh, development uh, in different uh, operating uh, systems. So Kestrel is the cross-platform web server for the SP.NET Core application. That means this server supports all the platforms and very uh, versions that the SP.NET Core supports. So by default, it, in, it included as it is actually included as the internal web server in the .NET Core application. So Kestrel web server is generally used as an edge server. So that means uh, the internet facing web server which directly processes the incoming HTTP requests from the from the client. So for now, we are going to create uh, uh, a new SP.NET project. Then we'll be able to launch this using a Kestrel uh, web server. So by default, Visual Studio uses the IIS Express to host and run the SP.NET Core application. So the, the process name is IIS Express, and uh, we'll be able to see how this works. So so we can create our application that is sp.net core web app we can actually create an mvc then uh, we can name it first application then new we can uh, have this on .net 6 Then we create it. So how to run the application using the Kestrel web server? So before using the Kestrel web server to run our application, we first need to open the launch uh, setting.json. So we have created our application. So we need to, to, to see the launch. So you'll be able to see the launch settings.json file on our application under properties. So if you double click it, it will open the file. So inside this file, it has some uh, properties that we need to discuss. So from here is the IS server, that is IS Express, which will use uh, the, 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 the URL to run the application. So this URL will be used by the IS Express. So you can see these are the settings for the IS Express. Then we have the profiles. So these are the profile settings for the IS uh, Express. Then we have the profile used by the Kestrel. So, so this is the profile used by the Kestrel, and this is the IS Express uh, 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 profile. So this is the IS Express profile, and this is the Kestrel uh, server uh, profile that will be used by the Kestrel. So you can actually see the ports. So the, the IIS Express will be using port uh, 1102. Then the Kestrel application will be running on either 7052 or 5279. Uh, so this is where we, uh, this file actually has the uh, settings. So in our coming video, we'll discuss more about uh, launch settings.json in detail. But for now, just have a look at the at the profile section and we can see how these two uh, are, are being used on sp.net core application so if you open up here you're able to see that you can launch it as a, a, our application using the castrel so you'll be able to see that or using the is express so these two will be will be will be discussing them on this uh, video so if you select IS Express, then it will use the IS server. And if you select a first application, then it will use the Kestrel uh, server. 
So uh, we can run the application using the IIS Express. If, if, you, if you run the application using the IIS Express, then it will use the URL and port number that we have seen here. So it will actually use this uh, port number and the URL. So if we can just launch it, so you'll select at the top here IIS Express, then we launch our application. So there we are. So you can see our application has launched. So let's look at the port. So you can see the port. So it is actually SSL encrypted. So you can see it is encrypted. That means it is using this port 44341. So if you come to the to the URL, you will see it is 44341. So this is the URL being used by the uh by the IS. So if we just copy this link and open our browser here and paste it here, then it is actually redirected to to that port. So this is uh, this is the SSL port that is being used by this application. So so you can so this is now our application running on IS. So we need now to see if uh, how we can use the orchestral server. So we just uh, stop this, then we select the first application, then we launch it. So you need to actually see there are two things that is happening. So let me just discuss this. So if you observe that uh, how we have launched, so let me just stop this so that you're able to see when we select is express you can see we don't have uh, it doesn't actually launch the console application it, it it doesn't open the console but that is it so we are running this on is express but if you select the kestrel web server then it will open the console so and actually the port will change so if we just select that so you can see the port is 7052. So if we come to our launch JSON, you will see. So this is the Kestrel web server. So it is using 7052. So they are using these two, two ports. The first port is for the SSL uh, encrypted URL. Then this one is uh, not. So these are the two ports that are being used by the Kestrel web server so you can see these are the two ports so if we just copy this link and we use the we have actually launched our application using the kestrel web server is we if we paste the, the port for the is web server it won't be able to find the application because we have launched it using the kestrel web server so IS, IS express uses the port 44 443 uh, 41 uh, and the Kestrel server uses the 7052. So we can also run a .NET Core application using the .NET Core CLI. So CLI stands for Command Line Interface and when we run an ASP.NET Core application using the .NET Core CLI then the, the, the .NET Core runtime uses the Kestrel as the web server. So we will actually discuss the .NET Core CLI in detail on our, on our upcoming video. But for us, we can actually open the console uh, just to demonstrate this. Open the console, then just type .NET dash dash. So. Uh, .NET, uh, dot net sorry dot net help so it will actually give you all the commands so you can see all the commands that are there so we'll be using these commands in our uh, our coming video so using these cli commands 
we can create a new uh, project using the, the, the new command. So you can see we have a new command here. You can create a new uh, project file. Uh, you can also, so we can actually use a lot of these commands. So you can see publish, you can publish a .NET project for deployment, you can remove a package, you can restore dependencies, and you can clean or build a .NET project. So we'll, we'll do more about uh, .NET uh, CLI commands on our upcoming video. But today, uh, our major point was uh, uh, the Kestrel web server and the AS web server. So if you have any questions, so you can actually now change. So on our launch uh, settings JSON, you can change the ports. So if you want the application to, uh, to, to run on a different port under the Kestrel server, so you open the launch uh, settings JSON file and give an available port number. So for, uh, for example here, we can give it for 44. Let's, let's just see for the IS if it will pick it. So we have changed our port. So if we launch it, the port should be available. Yes, you can see our port is now for 43.44. So we have changed this port. You can also change this to 53. You see, ensure that the, the port is available. Sorry, that is a, that is IS. So we'll have to change this to fast application. Then we launch it. So it should be 70.53. There we are. So you can see that is how you change the port numbers on your application. So that is it guys for today and see you in our next video. So remember to subscribe.